canción del Salvador. We are here in the main central plaza of San Salvador. We've got the main church here that we just had a little bit of a look at the end of service on a Sunday. Uh, we've got the National uh, Palace here, and then we've got the new library that's been built by the Chinese here as well. Right behind me over here, you can see the memorial for the tragic uh, past of El Salvador, the Civil War. And right over here next to it, is the new El Salvador, the hopeful, peaceful, happy, colorful El Salvador, presented in art. We took a day tour to the Ruta de las Flores, which means the route of the flowers. It's a region of El Salvador with small, picturesque agricultural villages, colorful markets, lots of coffee plantations and processing plants, as well as geothermic activity. It's a beautiful, colorful marketplace again. My happy place. Fresh coconut juice. So good! <laughs> so in preparation for the 15th of September anniversary celebrations, the kids are practicing their drumming, their marching bands on the street. We are at the Ruta de las Flores. This is a coffee plantation, my best. Our tour of this particular coffee estate showed us the various stages of processing the raw coffee beans from the coffee plantations. We saw how the coffee is stripped of the various layers of skin, being fermented through to being dried both outside and inside with the use of drying heaters before being stored in large warehouses. This is the fermented coffee beans. There's still more skin here, but here we go. Straight to JJ Bean in Vancouver. <laughs> so one of these bags here is approximately 100 pounds and they go between 150 to 3,000 US dollars. Obviously the cheap stuff tends to be in your instant coffee and your more expensive stuff is exported to countries uh, in the Middle East and obviously to countries like Canada, New Zealand and Australia. Eventually the coffee is sorted by size, weight and quality. This coffee was being hand sorted for high quality coffee to go to the Middle East. Only 20% of coffee beans qualify as top quality beans. For the coffee that is sold locally, it is roasted and bagged. We also had the opportunity to taste some of their coffee straight from the factory. So we've just gone through the entire process from the raw bean to the final product at this amazing El Salvadorian plantation. And we're taking this home with us. The best. Okay, thermal hot pools, here we go. So here we are at the thermal pools here on the roof of the Flores. As we're driving up, we can see all the steam, the mud pools, uh, the volcanic activity in the wee valley here. So yeah, just going for a little wee dip and uh, relax for a bit. Here we go, another volcano, Santa Ana in El Salvador. Let's go hike it. Beautiful view of the clouds all around. <laughs> so number two volcano of Central America. This is Santa Ana in El Salvador. Uh, today, obviously the weather, we can't see much of the view, but that's okay, because we got to see this beautiful, amazing crater lake here. It's an active volcano. Last erupted in 2005, and from here you can see and smell a beautiful sulfur lake. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Well, El Salvador, we've had a beautiful four days here experiencing your amazing country. You've shown us your true colors, and it's really incredible to see you've gone from a really dark place and you've got a bright, amazing, progressive future ahead. 